Is it time to go all in on Japanese 151? Let's look at the numbers. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Quick 151 pricing update for you. Take a look at this. So three weeks ago, the shocking rumors came out of a reprint on this set. We had Pokebeach.com confirm the news, but it seems like very few people really seem to know all the details, like the scale of the reprints or even, you know, the true date. It was rumored to be around kind of mid to end of May. Now it's looking like as soon as this weekend. April 20th is the date that I've been hearing for a little bit. Uh, one thing is for certain. And that is that 151 booster boxes are sinking like a geodude in Cerulean City Gym. So I'll take you through how the pricing has changed over the last three weeks. We've got Pokeyeni down 36%. This is huge, right? 180 bucks to 115, whether you're a collector, investor, whatever. Like this is a huge savings uh, for people. Really, really good news. Uh, Cali Poke House, 34% drop from those guys. And Sneaker Dunk, yes, they are a legitimate store. Uh, you can order from them 106 to 85. They've got a 60 percent drop of course they were already the lowest to begin with if you're buying from ebay pokey data io says it's about 11 percent drop 201 to 177 so you can see from this these numbers here like you know ebay is not the place or the best place to be getting this stuff from if you like the security of using that platform that's fair enough um, but yeah the best deals are going to be available through the other sellers or through going direct and if you're bringing it in directly through a japanese reseller you're probably around 13,000 yen right now before shipping so 87 89 bucks the yen the yen is really falling fast against the US dollar which is only helping people over here in, in US and Canada that want to buy it just always use PayPal GNS to protect yourself film the box openings all that fun stuff so that's the booster boxes I'm also seeing that cases now cases are just absolutely tanking as well. It used to be the cases were selling for like 2,500 US. That's a case of 12 boxes. Uh, now they're going for like 1,100. And I'm hearing, thanks to Pokeball Billion for this, I'm hearing that we might see them as low as like just under $1,000 US. That That's absolutely crazy, right? I mean, there's still cases that have a premium. They have it because of the collectability and because of the guaranteed hits inside. Like that sealed case premium is being completely wiped out. If we see it around 1,000 US, that means we're $83 a box inside a sealed case. Absolutely crazy. Uh, absolutely crazy. So yeah, prices are going down, down, down. The question is, are they at rock bottom? And is this the time now to go all in? Well, quite frankly, if you liked this set at $200 a box, then you should be head over heels in love with it uh, right now. I, I do still think the fact that these, these boxes are, have crashed so hard and they've sold off so quickly tells me that there might just be more to come. But, you know, I'm in Canada. I have a U.S. Canadian perspective. Here's a comment from my friend in Japan. This is someone who I, I respect quite a bit, big into the hobby, Pokipuri Kun. They live around Yokohama City and they're saying, look, it's odd. I haven't spotted any 151 at the usual card shops and they, they travel around quite a bit too. However, I've noticed some shady Japanese dealers on Instagram selling it, but things might start to change soon. There might be stores that will sell boxes from next month. Only time will tell. All I know at the moment is that due to the reprints, the prices for 151 are dropping fast. Th this seems crazy to me. It really does. You've got sellers liquidating stuff online, and then there's dudes like this that, that can't get any of it in Japan. Is this going to change very soon? I mean, Pokemon do seem like they're going to war with the more nefarious elements um, uh, in the hobby, like the scalpers, you know, the robbers, the, the burglars, all that stuff by trying to kind of crush some of the values down. Um, but there are still just so many unknowns uh, and they won't be cleared up until the reprint formally hits. Quite honestly, I do think this is a good time to buy it. I mean, 151 is the set of the Bonnet era, it will do well long term. The prices have been slashed down. Yes, they were inflated sky high, but people were paying them. It's still super popular in streams and box breaks. There's still super valuable cards in there. I have a feeling 68 to 70 dollars is probably the target floor price on this. Although, look, V Star Universe is 50 dollars a box right now. So you, you really never know, right? I mean, look, on the flip side, though, I mean, you know, while people are saying the Japanese economy is in the shitter and scalpers are running out of cash. If this reprint is much smaller than people think, if it's not widely available or the hoarders get to it first, then, you know, the value could go up as quickly as it dropped. Personally, I think now, probably over the next week or two, is probably going to be the best time to buy. I'm going to be keeping a close eye on it and buying more, and I will keep you posted as things tick along. What are you guys doing with 151? Are you done with it? Are you buying more? What's the plan? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, guys, take it easy.